This is not clickbait, I am banned. As you can see, you are permanently banned from this server. When I saw this message, I was confused because I don't run any blacklisted mods, I'm not hacking or anything like that. But then I thought about it and I had a pretty good reason as to why this happened. See, I've been making a lot of content on scammers, trying to expose them, maybe trolling them a bit, to bring awareness to help other people not get scammed. Now, because of this, I get a lot of DMs of people who are like, yo, this guy scammed me, can you go expose him or something? For example, this guy, he DMs me, he goes, kill him, please. And then sends a picture of a scam that happened, it was a collat scam. Now more recently, I've been going to these scammers and demanding the coins back. So this guy got scammed out of 45 mil in gear around that much. So I approached the scammer, demanded the coins back and said, if you don't return the coins, I'll report you. And I recently got YT rank, so a lot of these people believe that they will actually get banned because they think I know the admins or something. And a lot of times they do give their coins back because they'd rather return their coins than risk getting their whole accounts banned. A lot of these guys are like billionaires. So I've recovered and returned 1.7 billion coins this way. Some of them are made into videos, some of them just are not very good content. But I thought for sure this is the reason why I got perma banned. I have a ton of coins going in and out of my profile. I probably got banned for something like profile boosting. So with this reasoning, I messed to the admins. I said this is a big misunderstanding, can I get unbanned? But this is the response I got back. It looks like this punishment was put in place by a member of our team due to concerns with behavior and chat messages sent by not Kekofari account. Finally, our concerns are the following. Asking players if they are mentally challenged, threatening on multiple occasions to have players mass reported. Okay, now I was surprised at this because I knew the exact situation that this report was talking about and I did not think it warranted a perma ban. But I will go over the full context of the situation and you can decide for yourself. Lassie BKL. Okay, this is where the story starts. So I got a message from a guy. He said he paid Lassie for a dungeon carry and then Lassie just left the party and refused to carry. Classic dungeon scam. The victim wanted me to visit Lassie. So I visit him. I tell him that there's full evidence that he's a scammer, which there was. I demand the coins back. He eventually refuses and then I just leave. If they refuse to give me the coins, I mean, that's the end of the story. That's how most of these confrontations end. I usually report them, but most of the time Hypixel just does absolutely nothing about it. It's a bit frustrating. But then this guy comes into my Discord and shares screenshots of our interaction. He blurs out his name and the name of the victim, of course, so he can avoid getting reported or whatever. But that's where this guy Matrix comes in. Can you send his IGN? I want to scare him a bit. I say, I'm not going to send it, sorry. And then this guy goes and does some digging. He finds out it's Lassie BKL. And then a bit later, five days later, he goes, you'll remember that scammer we talked about? Well, well, I reported him and he got wiped. This is confirmed. His name did not change. There was simply no Skywalk profile, so he got banned or wiped. I talked to him and he was a bit mad. But anyways, I was surprised that Hypixel actually banned a scammer. So I go, how did you do it? Did you use a slash report system? He goes, yep, I messaged my guild and we got a hundred reports in. So we just summoned the entire, his entire army in his guild and they mass reported him and it actually worked. So at this point I had a revelation. I was like, this is the way to get scammers banned. All you gotta do is gather a lot of people to mass report someone and they can actually get punished because it probably brings in the admins to look at their accounts and has more of a chance of getting them banned. Okay, now fast forward to the situation that got me banned. This guy, Fogus, DMs me. He goes, not sure how to put this, but there is a guy in my co-op who won't leave. I made the mistake of inviting him. He is a scammer and I really want him gone and I don't know what to do. This was November 18th. I didn't see it or something, so I don't reply. He messages me again a month later and I finally reply and I ask what happens. Now this is what Fogus claims. He goes, A scammer by the name of IGN Zakrata tricked me into inviting him to my co-op. He said he wanted to try and progress super fast on a new profile, but instead he took 250 million coins and profile boosted with it, and now he refuses to leave the co-op. The main problem for Fogus is not the stolen 250 mil, but rather that IGN Zakrata will not leave his co-op. So I think, okay, I could just go and party IGN Zakrata and ask him to leave the profile. So I party him, he joins, and here's how it goes. So I say, you know Fogus. He says he joined his profile and he won't leave. IGN Zakrata admits this, yep. And then I say, after you scammed him, and Zakrata goes, does he have proof for that? IGN Zakrata goes, if I took 250 mil, as claimed, I would be banned. And I go, not true, because this is just utterly not true. Bro, there's so many scammers that do not get banned. He goes, I will be banned for IRL trading. And then here I say, not unless a lot of people slash reported you. 
So he goes, you can report me to see if I get banned. I don't mind because I didn't scam him. Report me. This is the guy I later threatened to mass report and I call him mentally challenged, but we'll get to that in a bit. So I go back to the DMs with Focus. I say he says he didn't scam and that you don't have proof. I can't really do much without videos or concrete proof. This seems like a personal problem between you two. I use the wrong two and then I correct it to the other wrong two. So jokes on me. I'm the one mentally challenged. At this point, I should have just ran away from the situation without enough evidence, but I decided to do some digging, which eventually led to my demise. I asked for a Karada's side of the story, and here are his claims. He claims that Fogus legit said, looking for someone to join my co-op, which is why he joined. He then says, he went to the bank and yes, he did withdraw 250 mil, or 240 mil, out of muscle memory. He then got kicked by Fogus, but then later re-invited. Then Fogus called him slurs and was racist, so now he doesn't want to leave the profile. Now why in the world would Fogus kick IG and Sakurada, then re-invite him later? Also, to kick someone, you need a third member. So this is not making any sense, so I go back to Fogus and I say, He claims you kicked him, and then you re-invited him. Why did he re-invite? Fogus goes, I do not recall that. Now later, Fogus says that this was a misunderstanding on the question, and that yes, he actually did re-invite IG and Sakurada. I will go over the whole story later on. But at this point, both players are completely contradicting each other. I don't know who's telling the truth. But there was one, perhaps, saving grace. And that was that IGN Socrata said he would leave the profile for 100 million coins. Now, Fogus actually wanted to pay the 100 mil coins to get Socrata off the profile. But there's one problem. Socrata wanted the money before he left the profile. I told Fogus not to do this, because once Socrata receives the money, he could just decide to not leave the co-op. It's a pretty common scam tactic. But I came up with a genius plan. I brought it up to Fogus. I said, what if I'm the middleman? How about you give me 100 mil, then we tell IG and Sakurada to leave the profile, then I give him the money. That way we can avoid any scams happening between you two. Everyone could get what they want this way. Regardless of who's telling the truth, let's just get Sakurada off the profile and get him his 100 mil. That way both of you guys are happy. Again, money was not the biggest issue for Fogus. It was that he couldn't invite anyone to the profile because Sakurada was not letting him. Like, he wanted to invite his brother. At this point, I left the party with Socrata, but I re-invite him back and pitch him the idea. So I say, you will leave if I paid. And this guy goes, I will get banned. Probably. I say, why? And he goes, because it's IRL trading. No? IRL trading is buying coins with real money, which this is not anything. There's no real money involved, okay? I say, how is that IRL trading? He goes, well... You're giving me coins for nothing. Admins might get suspicious. I say, no, you won't get banned unless you actually do illegal stuff. So I'm saying, I will be the middle man. And then he goes, I want the coins directly to me. Claiming he wants the coins from Fogus directly. No middleman. He wants me to get an admin, which I can't do. And then he says he wants some money before he leaves the co-op. Again, he says this. So I improvise and I think maybe we actually can do that. And here's what I propose. I go, hear me out. What if I got like 10 people in here to all witness the trade? And if you scam, you get mass reported and banned. He goes, take care. I say, you get the money. I'm like, why would you not want 100 mil, bro? He goes, I want coins directly to my account. No middleman. And I say, yeah, we can do that. Exactly. From Fogus, directly from Fogus, we get 10 people in here to mass report you if you scam. And then he goes, oh, nah, I want them from you. I go, who? He goes, you. So now he's just switching his mind up completely. And I'm like, okay, at this point, it makes sense. He's just literally trolling me. He has no intent of actually leaving the profile. This is going to be a straight up scam. He then wants me to write a little contract line where he claims that this is not IRL trading, which I explained so many times that it's not IRL trading and that he's not going to get banned for this. I do misinterpret this and think that he is trying to call me a scammer. So there's a bit of a misunderstanding on my part, but I call him mentally challenged at this point because of all the events that have led up to this point and his story not making sense. And then I log off. It's all a lost cause. I do tell Matrix to report Sakurada and to try and get his guild to do so as well. I think only a few people actually reported him, but the plan was to get an admin to look into the account to give the right punishment. Socrata even asked to get mass reported twice, but the next day I log on and I'm banned. After I saw the reasoning for this ban, I decided to explain to the admins what happened. So I basically told them everything I told you up until this point, and I say this. Is there a way to tell if IG and Socrata was lying or telling the truth? If he is a scammer, isn't my behavior justified? Anyways, this is the response I got. In summary, we will not provide you with information about Ijin Sakrata. It is a privacy and security concern. Stop investigating and confronting players. It is not the role of YT rank. Do not threaten people with mass reporting and calling people mentally challenged is never okay and highly inappropriate. If you think this is highly inappropriate, go to Instagram real comments. You will instantly combust. I think this is so tame to even be included in this ban report. But anyways, after thinking about it for a few days, I now realize that the main problem with this stuff 
is because I have YouTube rank and I need to be held to a higher example and that's the main problem they had. They said once I acknowledge this stuff will not happen again I can get unbanned which I wrote them and eventually got unbanned so we're good on that part. The main thing I'm mad about is that I can no longer go and confront scammers anymore because they warned me not to do this so scammer content might be a bit different now. Now you might think that's the end of the story but it's not. Because what really happened between these two players? Well, for the next few days after the ban, I did some hardcore investigating and interviewing, and here's what I found out. I will give you the straight up facts. These are confirmed by both players as well as the Hypixel API. On July 4th, Goose invites Sakurada to his profile. Reasoning? Unknown. Sakurada goes to the bank, takes 250 mil. Fogus then invites a friend called Sliced because he thinks IGN Sakurada is going to scam him. Now in order for Sliced to be invited, IGN Sakurada has to approve of this invite, which he does. Goose and Sliced then kick Sakurada. Now when a player gets kicked from a co-op, all their possessions get put into a stash, which can then be salvaged by the remaining members on the co-op. So Fogus tries to salvage the stash, but is unable to do so. There are no coins there, which makes Goose think that Sakurada profile boosted it out before he got kicked. Sliced then leaves the profile, his work here is done. For whatever the reason, Goose re-invites Sakurada three weeks later on July 27. What happened between them cannot be confirmed, but Sakurada now refuses to leave the profile unless he's paid 100 mil. Now does Sakurada actually transfer the money out to another account or to another profile? Well he claims that the reason why Goose couldn't salvage anything was because of a bug. Now you might think this is a poor excuse, but I actually think this is a big possibility. Around the time this happened, there were a lot of bugs happening with co-op salvaging, where the entire stash of the kicked player would just get voided and deleted. So did this whole conflict and misunderstanding between these players happen because of a bug? Yes, it is a big possibility that the money just got lost to the void due to this Hypixel bug and now I'm the one that gets banned for it. If it was a bug, both of these players' stories make so much more sense. Plus, if Sakurada actually was a scammer, why would he accept for Slice to be invited? Also, he is not on any scammer list. Anyways, to resolve this entire situation and bring it to an end, I paid Sakurada 100 mil out of my own purse for him to leave the profile. And he did. So now Focus is happy, Sakurada's happy, I'm not super happy. Scammer content might be a bit different from now on, but like the video and peace out.